Welcome back. Now a story of music from the Bay Village City School District, which for the past 20 years has been awarded the best community for music distinction honor by a prestigious arts foundation. But there is more to the story of this proud achievement, and it lies within the hearts of the teachers who pass on their love of music to all who enter their classroom. This frightful night of fun, served up by Bay Orchestra students, comes just once every four years. But this year's performance will also be remembered for acts of love set in motion a few years ago. We were very, very, very fortunate to have a wonderful, very dedicated music teacher. Her name was Carrie Engelbrecht. She taught at Westerly Elementary School in our district. Duties for this beloved educator included teaching students to read music notation. Her methods for success, second nature, until Mrs. Engelbrecht heard about a bright, bubbly young student named Jennifer Kosunik, who happened to be blind. Mrs. Engelbrecht, I mean, she would take me and have me come in for lunch to learn the Braille music, and I think that was her lunch too, which she didn't have to do, but she just did it so willingly. But to teach Jennifer Braille music, Mrs. Engelbrecht had to learn it first through a challenging distance learning course offered by Chicago's Hadley School for the Blind. You had to be able to read Braille to be able to enroll in that. Carrie Engelbrecht could not read Braille. <laughs> so she uh, got a colleague named Helen who could read Braille to join her so that when Jennifer came to Westerly, they could teach her at the same time as the other students to read the same notation her peers were learning. And to ensure Jennifer's continued success, Carrie Engelbrecht shared her knowledge. And she spent hours with me, showing me the, the basics of it, showing me the materials she had, and then gave me all her materials. Jennifer's musical talent is undeniable, only overshadowed maybe by her zest for life. So much so, it inspired band director Darren Allen to compose an original piece for her. He called it Fearless. Yeah, I mean, that's what inspires me uh, about her and about to write this piece is just that if Jen can do it, probably we can do it, <laughs> you know. And so on concert night, Jennifer and the orchestra performed Fearless, infused with elements of classic rock and jazz. Also included, a part for Rowdy, her service dog and faithful music lesson companion through the years. A joyous occasion, missing just one person, Mrs. Engelbrecht, who passed away in 2019. Her influence and devotion is found in her talented colleagues too, who now make it their passion to share a love of music with all of the children who come to school here. I'm just so blessed, the teachers, they're just so committed and I just want to thank them. They just love music and you can tell based on the way that they show their students. And it's really something special to have not just one, but all the teachers in the music department be able to express that. And Jennifer plans to continue playing music when she heads mm -hmm. to college next year. All of the music teachers are professional musicians who are still performing in ensembles like the Akron Symphony, Cleveland Chamber Winds, and Pops Chorus, just to name a few. So clearly, very talented musicians teaching the younger ones to come. Yeah, major stuff there. What a nice piece. It's all harmonious. I'm trying to go somewhere with there that. There you go. There you go. All in harmony. With I see what you did there, <laughs> Marquesa. It is